Okay, this is part three in the uh, Blender Game Engine series of tutorials for Python programming. Let's see. In the last two lessons, we learned how to move an object and rotate an object. Pretty easy stuff, right? And the amount of code required was hardly anything. I mean, just nothing to do it. So it's really quite easy. And so you can just look around for these other type of uh, keyboard events. But then there's mouse events that you can look at. And there is joystick events that are all follow similar patterns you know you're looking for the left click of a mouse or the right click and things and we'll get to that as well but in this lesson let's just continue doing some more fun stuff first because the fun stuff is really where it's at so remember in from the other uh, tutorial you maybe saw in the spare code I had this where was that oh well here here's one apply movement mm-hmm that's a good one and apply force. Mm, that's a very good one too. Let's use let's use apply force. Apply force is is just good fun. You'll dig this. All right. So we'll go back into the. Uh, we'll just use the cylinder, the cube object. I mean, for now. And what we'll do is we'll move this cylinder back here. We're in global coordinates. We'll move this here. And let's see. We'll move this up here like this. So we can we can hardly see it need another light in the scene here so you can see that side of it let me get that light here we go we have a light all right and we're going to set them both down right at the surface right in there and then i'm going to let's see they're both are not they're both set to static now so they're not going to react otherwise unless i make them move which is just what i'm going to do i'm going to try and blast that into that that's our goal blast that into that see but in that case, what we really do want, we want them to be rigid bodies. Well, at least we want that to be a rigid body. All right. So we'll let that be a rigid body. And then for the keyboard event, let's go over here. This is just going to be a short lesson, short and easy. And we'll make it this. So now, for the cube object, just copy that. Paste that. And then, oh, go get back that spare code. I just copied that code. Control C. And then we will. It's not called projectile. It's called. In here, it's called cube object. Because that's the name of the controller owner right there. It's cube object. All right, and then we'll make this the, we'll just say the right arrow key. So we we'll press the right arrow key, we want to project it. Now this is also, here's that true axis and for local axis. So let's see, if we were to look at the local axis in here, like this, we see the local axis. If I moved it in X, Y, or Z, that's not going to move it back towards that cylinder any means so if I look at the global axis then Y here's positive Y in this direction because the arrow is pointing in the positive direction so that direction towards the cylinder is negative Y direction in the global coordinate system alright so we'll have to make sure we do that so Y we won't make it that strong we'll make it we'll apply a, we'll apply a force of 12,000 in global coordinates like that okay and then that's for the right arrow key that seems a, kind of illogical the right arrow key but we'll do it anyway let's see what happens I'll just press P and I'll press the right arrow key and what happens there's the down arrow key nothing <laughs> oh no programmer error again alright what did I do right arrow key Logic seems it's on the right it's on the right thing. That name looks correct. Um X, Y, and Z. That should be global. Y twelve thousand apply force. Oh, I know why. And why? You know why. You should know why. It's right in front of our face, right there. It has to be a rigid body as well. Okay, now let's do it. Alright, right arrow. Oh, but of course I just violated my own rules. 
and I just told you where the positive y direction was, so that's negative y, so we're going to make it negative 2,000, because we would make it to negative 200. It's just too fast. All right, so now we'll press it, P, and then the right arrow key, and there it goes, and knocks it out. Huh, did you get that? As simple as that. All right, this, so it's basically trying to shoot an object. Press P, right arrow key, sends that off with a force. And just because we want to see what a little more action is, let's make it, you know, 1,200. And see what it does. I will just go full screen for you here. All right, let's rotate a little bit. Okay, P, and then right arrow. Whoa, <laughs> that's obviously too fast. <laughs> We'd have to adjust the physics settings. <laughs> to make that happen. All right, let's try this at 700. All right, right up there, not bad. Gets it kicking out there. All right, so look at, now you have three commands in your arsenal, and now you can create a little arsenal of, of fun effects with just, what, this little bit of code? Very powerful. Now you notice you can use the logic bricks anyway, instead, and you can apply a force with logic bricks. But however, since we're in the code mode, you know, suddenly we can apply variables and dynamically change these values and we can use, you know, we can calculate exact directions that we wanted to go instead of just saying X this way, Y this way. We can be very specific about which direction to shoot, move our projectiles. All right. Well, I think that probably gives you a pretty good idea and that's uh, that can be a lot of fun just to get started with and then you might just be off and running on your own. All right. Well, that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.